What is good? My name is Mike Osterman. I am a professional freestyle skateboarder. If you're not familiar with freestyle skateboarding, it usually looks a little bit like this. So uh, we're skating a different type of board in that video. The, the boards that freestylers tend to ride are a little bit different from your average like street skateboard. And the biggest thing, and, and probably the thing I get asked about the most, are the things on the ends of my board. These things. Of course I have a, a board in my lap ready to explain what these are. These are skid plates. Uh, I have a tail skid, one that goes on my tail, and a nose skid. These are high abrasion plastic plates uh, that we install on the ends of our board to keep our boards in shape, to prevent them from wearing out because boards are expensive and uh, you just wanna make sure we keep them in shape over time as we skate them. I wanna make a video today to explain what they are, why I ride skid plates, and how, if you are riding skid plates already, you should replace them and when to replace them. That's a lot, so let's just dive into it. Let's go. Now, freestyle skating involves a lot of tricks where you skid your tail, which can wear out a board pretty quickly. Things like spacewalks, all kinds of different footwork tricks. Obviously, tricks where you're popping your tail. They all wear out that edge of the tail of your board. They cause razor tail. So having skid plates can prevent razor tail because obviously I'm skidding on the skid plate and not the wood of the board. But in addition to protecting the tail, skid plate also makes it easier to do those sliding tricks because it's harder than wood and doesn't grip as much. It's actually helping me to slide and keep my spacewalks feeling smooth. And it helps me slide my thrusters, my mraz twists. If I slide my tail a little bit during spins, that hard plastic doesn't grip the same way that a regular wooden tail does. And it keeps those tricks moving smoothly and gliding across the ground without kind of stopping me and pitching me off the board. Oh, I'm out of breath. All right, let's move on. Razor tail's bad but what's worse is adding razor tail to pogos. Freestylers spend a lot of time on our trucks and with that comes risk of splitting and delaminating our boards. Didn't think I was gonna land that into Primo. Using skid plates prevents razor tail, which also prevents chipping and splitting on the nose and tail of your board. It's vital if you're gonna do pogos all the time or truck transfers. or really anything where you're hopping on the board. <laughs> Ow. So, let's assume you're already riding skid plates. Maybe you've had them for a little while on your freestyle board. When should you replace them? Now, I've been riding this board for about two months. Uh, these skid plates really only get skated on really smooth ground, so uh, they're, they're pretty fortunate. Uh, they've been lasting me a while but they're almost at the point where I want to change them out. The rule I usually use is that once I am no longer skidding on the skid plate, once I'm actually doing damage to the bottom of my tail, that's when I swap out my skid plates. That just means they're not doing their job. The whole point of having them on your board is to protect the deck. So as soon as they're so thin that I'm actually wearing the wood, they gotta go. And it's pretty easy to replace a skid plate, right? All you're gonna need is a fresh skid plate in this case, I have a Waltz low profile tail skid. You need a screwdriver as well. Um, I just moved in to this apartment, so I don't know where my screwdriver is. So bear with me for a second while I find one. All right, here is a skateboard. Look at that. Look at that skateboard. I couldn't find a screwdriver, so we're gonna use a drill. But like, if you don't have a drill at home, all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and uh, you're good. And here we have a replacement skid plate. This one is brand new, it's a quarter inch thick, low-profile tail skid plate from Walt Skateboarding. And there you go. 
comes right off. Now at Waltz, all of our skid plates come with hardware. Here we have the binding bolts and the machine screws that you'll need to install your skid plates. I'm gonna reuse the ones that I had in my last skid because I don't really need fresh ones. These are in really good shape. Anytime you purchase a fresh skid plate at Walt Skateboarding, you'll get this, you'll get the hardware, and you'll get a sticker and an instruction card, which looks a little bit like this. It's got all you need to know to install a fresh set of skid plates onto your board, whether it's a freestyle board or like a street board that you just want to have a fresh tail on, whatever. All right, let's put in the new one. I'm gonna put the binding bolts back in the holes that I drilled in this deck when I first set it up. Now with Walt skid plates, all of the holes are in the exact same place. So you'll be able to swap out the skid plates and the place where the holes were on this skid plate are gonna match exactly where they are in this skid plate. Once I've got the machine screws threaded, they should line up perfectly. Beautiful. Make sure they're not wiggling off. And there you have it. Everything should just screw in nicely. It should line up pretty close to the end of the tail. And now I have fresh skid plates on my board. Looks pretty good. Um, these will probably last me another month or two, depending on where I'm skating. Uh, if you are out there skating on just perfect marble ground, your skid plates might last you months on end. Uh, if, if you are skating rougher, gravelier, concrete or asphalt, they might not last quite that long, but hopefully they help keep your board in shape. Um, I find that skid plates make a lot of tricks way easier, things like spacewalks and footwork tricks. And uh, I don't know, I hope, I hope this helps you elevate your freestyle game. It's kind of the point with all this hardware. We want to help you be a better skater. If you have any other questions about the things that we ride, feel free to leave a comment below, or you can also visit the Waltz Discord. We have a Discord for the Waltz community where everybody can ask questions and learn from each other and kind of get an idea of what everyone is riding. Anyway, like and uh, subscribe, right? And uh, keep dancing. We will see you very soon for another one of these videos. Later, y'all.